Happy Saturday, Earthly Virgo. Thank you for joining me today. If you all were, if you all joined me for my live last night on the other channel for the ten dollar super chat, one question super chat. Thank you so much. Not a lot of you participated. Um, I did post the live information. I even went on and and put in the community section that I was live. And the only reason why I was over there live is because I don't get super chat, super chat here on this channel until I'm at 5,000 subscribers. But I am going to do another reading uh, for you all over here live. And it's going to be one free question if you're there. That's what we're going to do in an hour. So I'll let you know when um, when I'm going to do that. Okay. But who all, whoever participated last night, thank you so very much. I appreciate that. Okay. What's going on for you Saturday? What's going on today? In your life, in your world. That's just for the earthly please spirit. Yeah, we had a good time live last night. I really, I really enjoy doing those lives. It just takes out so much energy. Okay. We have the seven of cups. Justice. And we got the sun card. Your overall energy is the seven of pentacles. As well as the emperor here. So what messages do I have for you today, Earthlies? Looking, making a decision. Hmm. I'm hearing this song, Mind Blowing Decision. So there's a mind blowing decision, Virgo, that you need to make about something. You got a snake here you need to watch, to watch out for in your life. Somebody has this energy of a, of a dragon, like a, an erotic dragon or something like this. Thinking about what you've been through in a broken heart. But pick and choose your battles, pretty much. We have a ju the justice card. You you got to make the right decision, and you don't want to make the wrong decision and piss somebody off, as well as do a disservice to yourself. Okay. Somebody's thinking about maybe reading tarot, doing a a, a a YouTube channel, or starting something for pay. You know, wanting people to see your work, but you're kind of like weighing the the pros and cons. Should you or shouldn't you do that? And you don't, you don't, it's like you're erring on the side of caution because you don't know exactly what it is that you're going to do. And we have happiness here for you. These cards are small, so I have to take my glasses off to see them. <laughs> Maybe this is some sort of something is going to make you happy. This could be connecting with somebody who is a different place. Maybe you need to go catch a train or a boat or, or just some kind of transportation to go see this person. This could also be a person who's locked up and, and you're making plans to go see them, him or her. And you could also say, well, you know, it's going to make me so happy if you look at, if you're writing letters to this person and they're in jail, look up at the sun at noon because I'll be looking up at the sun at noon as well. And hopefully we'll feel each other's energy or we're doing something at the same exact time that's making me happy. If you look at the moon at a certain time at night, if you can see it from your cell block or wherever it is you're at, I'm looking at it at the same exact moment. Hmm. We have the seven of pentacles and we have the emperor here. Maybe needing to save here because uh, you're saying, well, you know, I don't have enough money. You will if you save more. Writing, writing down stuff too. If you know that you're losing money somewhere, pay attention to your bank account. What's coming out of your account every month? Are you making like paying for something? Maybe a like Netflix or or Showtime or, or something like that for six or seven dollars a month that you don't even watch. Something about watching your money, making sure you go and and. Go back and, and, and look back at your at your bank accounts or your emails or something because there's something coming out of your accounts that you probably forgot about and that's why a lot of your money is gone. I think I said that also in, in another reading here. You're watching your you're watching things in your life here, being this emperor or empress energy here, trying to find the keys to your satisfaction. It's like your mind is constantly going, it's constantly flowing. But what is it in your in your life that you need to do? here okay <clears throat> what's going on in Virgo's life and what do they need to do spirit I'm hearing mind-blowing decisions for you what is this emperor card here for earth please please spirit got the nine of wands here hold on y'all hold on hold on hello Hello. Yes. Oh, 
Okay, thank you. Sorry, y'all. I'm waiting for an exterminator to come and spray for spiders. I'm seeing, I have spiders in the front and in the back and these huge trees, rather. I have trees. So I keep seeing every, every time the seasons change, I'm seeing big spiders. I saw so far in my bedroom, I think, four brown recluse spiders and I saw a big, um, big old brown spider or whatever but so they're coming to spray today so they were coming at noon but she just called me and told me she's on her way in about 25 minutes sure anyway mm. so yeah mind-blowing decisions out here but we have the nine of wands it's like this is you looking you know what is it that you are going to do you know it's, it's like what decision do I need to make I have to see it's like you're having to step outside of your comfort zone and see what's coming your way it's like you're wanting to meet your dreams head on because you know something's out there you just don't know how, how to get it how to go forth to it should I come to it or should I allow it to come to me because you're lighting a fire under your butt the, the, your mind is, is just going and going and going like the, the battery <laughs> yeah whatever okay spirit. and we have here the knight of wands here There's something that you have thought about doing. You may have to close the door on a situation that is no longer with you. Kind of like you're done. You, you're walk, you've walked outside of that door. Now close it and lock it so nobody can come through that you're trying to let go of. Or uh, an opportunity. It can be a relationship, a family member, a situationship. Virgo, however it is that you, that you are looking at it, you close the door. Now lock it so you won't go back. So you won't be tempted to go back. Okay. And the spirit is telling you, go like here, Carolyn, go to the light. Just go to the light. Not in a negative way, not in a death way, but just follow your true light. I'm hearing follow your true north. You got your your the the pathway is lit, but what are you gonna do about it? Okay. Virgo, what's going on here? This could be a woman too that likes to dress like a man. Um, in, in feminine suits. Maybe you uh, make feminine suits or or you kinda like punk up a man's suit to make it look feminine or something like that okay not saying you're a punk I'm just saying like they punk up cars and stuff like that yeah the queen of cups <laughs> hold on somebody is in her rare feminine power though too very people probably tell you have beautiful eyes. you have some beautiful eyes maybe you like to fly maybe you want to be a pilot maybe you're a pilot in your past life this is somebody who kind of like makes up your own rules. You don't go by normal rules. And the, although you are following respect, you're respectful of other people's rules. You have your own set of rules that you prefer to go by. Like no nonsense kind of person. This could be a male or a female though. You do something to your eyes. It's like you, you accentuate your eyes. You probably wear makeup, eyeshadow. <sighs> what do you blend the eye colors and... and what is that phrase they use? Why you dark eyes or something like this? You spend a lot of time on your face, a lot of time on your makeup. But you spill you spill tea though. A lot of people's BS. It's like you cut through a lot of people's BS by opening your mouth and spilling the tea on somebody else. It's like I'm not gonna let you dis dis you know dismiss me and I not say anything to you about it in your motherfucking face. I'm gonna tell you like it is whether you like it or not. My mother used to say that say it to me all the time. Do you get it? whether you like it or not and you put these people in their place say something now okay this person feels very deeply you know so they they feel you know what i i know who i am and i'm going to give it to you i'm going to give it to you whether you like to hear it or not We have the Knight of Swords here, the King of Swords, and well, the Knight of Wands. But we have here the Knight of Swords. <laughs> so it's like you've said what you've said, you've hit it with your best shot, and you put your weapon away because you're done with it. And how do you like them apples? I'm, I, I'm hearing in my head, do you get it? Like my mother used to say, it used to say the way that when you when she said it, do you get it? Yeah, I get it, because you were afraid what the hell was coming out of her mouth. Okay, we have the Empress here. We have the Emperor here making a move here this could be you reversal take out resonates here looking at 
moving on and closing off what no longer serves you. But then we have an emperor. I'm sorry, we have the empress here. And she is saying, well, you know what? I've said everything. I've done everything I needed to, that, to do. I've cut off of the people, places, and situationships that no longer serve me. Now I can lay back and wait for my king. I'm ready for you, big papa. Mm-hmm ready you all are finding your way to one another in in different sections of the universe in different areas of the world and in, in di different levels of energy but but some had somehow some way you all are doing the exact same thing to come together to become one but we have time it takes time something about the time factor here for the for, for uh, the two the two of you Spirit, give me messages for the Virgos, please. In this, in this connection with the Emperor and the Empress. The Six of Wands here. Equal give and take connection here. Hold on, I'm going to study this card, you all. So with this Six of Wands energy, it's, it's like people will root for the two of you. People will see, well, that's a good couple. You know, um... It's like when they see you coming, they're going to know that you all were made for each other. Um, I see y'all being really um, popular, a popular a popular couple. You know, a lot of people will know you, kind of like a power couple. Maybe you will start your own company or own business or something, conglomerate or something together. A fashion company or 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 something but it's going to be a very logical connection between the two of you you are going to going to fit each other like a glove it's like both of you all are smart people and smart mouth where you where you fuck up that person will it's like this is your this is the yin to your yang your weakness is there you know it's like you balance each other out when, when you're not doing so well that person is and that person's not doing so well you because what you all have is going to come together completely it's like it's like mixed match but when we together it's all well and good it's like apples and oranges but mix it together in a smoothie and it tastes so good all right they, they complement each other very well okay Let's see we got the tower he has to go through something or you have to go through something in order to find your happiness. So both of you all have to go through some tower moments, uh, Virgos, to find one another, to find love, to find that happy place, to find meet the medium. We're going to meet each other. You're on your side of the world, Emperor. I'm over here on my side of the world. And both of us have shit we have to go through in our life to find each other. That's broken relationships, broken marriages, fucked up uh, communications with the people we love and work with, being dumped, being the dumpy, being ghosted, gaslighted. We got to go through all this shit just to find love. Just to find love. Mind blowing decisions. Give me a final message, please. So I could go and finish getting prepared for this exterminator. Final card here for the earthly space spirit. Popped out. What? What? And we have ten of cups. Oh! oh, oh ten of cups. I told y'all, y'all got to make some mind-blowing decisions to, to prepare yourself to meet this emperor. And for his, to meet his empress. Y'all got to go through the rough, the rough shit. The rough shit. Making these mind-blowing decisions to find each other. And y'all will, and that's 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 some happy stuff for me. That's that's it. That's beautiful. Mind blowing decisions. Whatever decision you make, whether you think it's good or bad at the moment, it's gonna lead you to this lover. See y'all later.